Hello. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Gabriel. I'm a senior release engineer at Mozilla, um, and I work on shaping Firefox um, on several different platforms. Um, and today I'm here to talk to you guys about um, the new dev package that we are um, shipping um, to our Mozilla app repository. Um, so first I'm going to talk a little bit about the journey from nightly to stable builds, and um, then I'm going to elaborate on some other reasons why we thought um, a native package might be useful for people on dev-based distributions. Okay, so early last year we started talking about um, setting up a app repository for Mozilla product builds um, just to help us um, offer better support on Linux and stuff like that. Um, it's really challenging to support um, distribution builds um, for us because they're built um, with different compiler, compiler versions. We can lead to some, some issues. Um, yeah, so first, um, in Oct around October, we started shipping a Nightly package, um, and it was mostly for a Nightly community. Um, this uh, offered them some benefits, like uh, they didn't have to create a desktop file. Um, it also made it easier to update the, the binary. We have some data that actually suggests that we keep uh, people more up to date on these dev packages. Um, I think probably because um, people update the whole system components in the app store or, um, yeah, when they update other stuff. Um, yeah, so I made a blog post about that. Um, we got a lot of feedback from the community about um, a developer edition dev package. Um, so we shipped that. Um, and now, as of Firefox 122, we're shipping um, stable builds to the repository. Um, so we want to, uh, you to be able to use Firefox how you want. Um, and we know browsers are complex applications that support many different use cases in people's life. So we wanted to uh, offer a native package in addition to snaps and flatpacks. Um, So uh, this package, um, it's built in Mozilla infrastructure um, from the Firefox source code without any modification. And the builds are supported by Mozilla directly. Um, another good thing about the package is that um, we spend a lot of resources in, um, in optimizing the builds um, using PGO and things like that. And we wanted people to be able to get those benefits without having to install our tarballs, but rather getting packages from this repository. Um, I like this one. Um, the updates are faster in case of chem spills. Um, so the new app repository is plugged in directly to the Firefox release automation. Um, so when we ship Firefox, we upload the build directly to this repository as soon as it's available, which is nice in case of security patches and things like that. Um, and here I have a slide about how to install it. Um, so you can visit that. Um, the website right there and follow instructions, like you all said. Um, it's easy, it's just about adding the Mozilla app repository and uh, installing the package. Um, the package is not perfect, surprise. Um, so if you have feedback, if you actually try it out, um, you can join our Matrix channel and let us know um, if the package is working for you, if you're having issues, and Mozilla will offer support. Thank you. Yes. Uh, do you provide ARM64 builds? Not yet. Can you reply the question? 
Um, yeah, uh, so he asked if we offer ARM64 builds. Um, not yet, we've been talking about it. Um, and yeah, um, working on it. Uh, how are the binaries uh, constructed for these uh, uh, like packages? Do you use the native Debian tooling to build it, or do you basically repackage the like same binary you would put in a, like a snap file? It's the it's the same binary that we've been shipping as a tarball um, forever, and yeah, we use the the native Debian tooling to repackage that into a dev package, and that's what we put in the app repository. I saw a hand over here. I lost the person. Someone had a question? Ah, okay. You're tricking me now. Yes, I see. Coming. For those new in the room, this is a challenge for me to have 10K today. So don't hesitate to ask questions. Hello. Do you envision uh, the debt package being like a stepping stone towards uh, this feature where flat packs and snaps work well, or it's, it will be like a permanent offering uh, going forward? Um, I envision it as a permanent offering, just like an additional option um, for people that like the packages. Yeah, makes sense. Um, why did you specifically choose DEB as a packaging format? I didn't quite understand that. Uh, over like something like Flatpak and have a custom repository for that? Oh, yeah, we already have a Flatpak. Um, so this is uh, just a different option um, for people so that uh, want to use that packages. There's already a Mozilla Flatpak repository? Yep. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Good to know. So, so that we mentioned uh, DEP and Flatpak, so the next question is what about other packaging formats like OS native, for example, RPM or any other, like, I don't know, like something for Arch or anything else? Yeah. I mean, that would be cool. Um, we've, there's definitely been conversations about RPM. Um, so yeah, we're thinking about it. Um, My question will be, uh, if you're supporting DEP now and all these packages, is it not a burden for you to continue supporting more? Don't you have a plan to focus on something more straightforward? Um, it is true that we're taking on more work um, by supporting these packages. Um, but I think we wanted to offer um, that support to um, the Linux community. Um, and yeah. Last Yes. Thank you, Klaus. Uh, are you going to be working with projects like Debian to promote the Mozilla repositories um, for their like stable user bases? Um, yeah, we um, the the Debian package maintainer is um, the Mozilla employee. He helped us out with this. Um, and yeah, it's just a different package. It's a different set of trade-off, right? There's a lot of different guidelines when you build the, the package for the distribution and different limi infrastructure limitations and things like that. Um, so it's more like a alternative package for people that find it useful. Uh, 